Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest version of StreamYo app to your Amazon Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is actually pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, the very first step you have to take is getting the app called Downloader to the Fire Stick. If you already have Downloader and is properly set up on your device, then you could actually skip this step, but if you don't have the unloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then just follow me. So firstly, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is. And so you just need to open the search bar right here. And in the search bar, you start typing downloader in a search. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. You click on downloader and now the app should appear for us right here. Yeah, there it is. So we get this orange downloader app to the Fire Stick, but after that, it's actually not ready to use yet because you still need to set it up. And to set up downloader, we'll go to settings. So we click this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to my Fire TV, open it. And in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. And in here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So now, finally, we go back to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick. Here it is, let me open it. And in here, you will be able to locate downloader. But before actually using downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, all you have to do is just connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to the Netherlands right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of this video, you'll get three months of NordVPN total for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for an word. And now finally, let's use downloader safely. So we just go back to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, locate the downloader and open it up. And here you'll see such a big search bar which will appear for you. On the screen, you have to open it and enter the link. So the link will be streamia.com. So let's enter that together. Once again, it's streamio.com. 
there you go, just enter the link exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes while doing so. After that, click on go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks. And now when this website loads for you, you have to click on that sandwich button in the right corner of the website. Let's open it up and then go straight to downloads page. So we open the downloads page as well. And now here we just have to scroll it down until we see the Android TV versions of the app. So here are all the different versions. And for the Fire Stick, you have to use the first one, which is to give me an ARM APK. You just click on it and the download of the app will start for you now. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so that shouldn't take more than 10 seconds. And then after the app got downloaded, of course, you also need to make sure to install it to the Fire Stick. So click in on install and just wait a bit until it is fully installed. And after that, after the app is installed to your Fire TV Stick, don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So click on delete and delete once again. And now let's go and take a look at the list of apps on your Fire TV stick. Here it is. Let's open it. Wait a moment. And there at the bottom, you will finally see the streaming application, which we just installed for you. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines right next to the home button on your remote. You click on it and every menu will appear on the right side of your screen. Click on move to front and this way the app will always be at the very top of your application list. This way it will be way easier for you to access this app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again you can get 3 months of NordVPN for free if you use the link below this video or in a pinned comment of the video. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.